Maize is a very important part of the diet of many West Africans. In Ghana, it's considered a major staple for the majority of the population. Maize is adapted in all ecological zones of Ghana. In the savanna zone, the maize crop does very well under rain-fed conditions. Early land preparations, as well as early planting, are very important for the maize farmer in northern Ghana. If land preparation and planting are not done properly, farmers will have problems controlling weeds and have their crops poorly germinated. In this video, we'll be learning best practices in land preparation and planting of maize. We'll also learn why it's important for farmers to practice proper land preparation and good planting methods. Before we talk about planting, let's first discuss land preparation. You need to make sure your land is properly cleared and ready for plowing. Clear the land by removing plants, stones, felled trees and other materials so to make it easier for the use of farm machines such as tractors and bullocks. Now that our land is properly cleared, we can go ahead to plough. Plough your land to loosen the top soil and incorporate the crop residue or vegetation cover. This improves soil fertility and helps in seed germination and rainwater retention. Proper land preparation will also control erosion. Now that we know why we have to plough the land, let's see the methods involved. Manual plough. With this method, the farmer needs a hoe and a cutlass. It's a common land preparation method in northern Ghana. It involves the use of human labour to till the land. Use your hoe to turn and loosen the soil. It will help kill the grass. Where the weeds stand tall, Use the cutlass to slash them to enable the hoe to turn the soil and bury them. The use of the hoe is usually not enough to provide the best depth of tillage for good growth. For example, a good tillage depth for maize should be about 30 centimetres. Using manpower with a hoe can only get to about 10 centimetres. To achieve the required depth of 30 centimetres using the hoe, ridging is one easy way. Always make your ridges across the slope to check erosion. Another method by which we can till our maize fields is by the use of animal-drawn ploughs. If draft animals are used for land preparation, the quality of the tillage will depend on their training. Also, their age will suggest how long they can work. When purchasing farm bullocks, check their age and make sure they're not too young or too old. Good tillage requires good training. Animals should be retrained before the first rains so that they are ready to work well during land preparation. If draft animals are used for land preparation, they should be well conditioned before the start of land preparation. Draft animals are normally weak at the beginning of the rains when there's little food. Give your draft animals extra feed to make them strong for tillage work. A bull should be three years old to start ploughing. The depth and width of the cut of the plough should be correctly set. Always remember that you need a tillage depth of at least 20 centimetres. Again, don't forget to plough across slopes. We also use tractors to plough our maize fields. This method is the fastest. Good tillage pattern reduces the time spent in non-productive work. The tractor operator should plan the ploughing in such a way as to minimise the number of turns and maximise the length of the tillage runs. Ploughing should begin in the centre of the field and work out to the edges. The result will be a level field with open furrows on the edges of the farm and not in the middle. As always, ensure that the tractor operator ploughs across the slope. Fields ploughed by animals or tractor sometimes have soils in large clods. This will not favour good maize germination. There's the need to harrow your field when this situation arises. We can harrow manually using a hoe or with a tractor. 
it's best to plant immediately after harrowing. Maize can be planted without any form of tillage. However, you'll need to control the weeds on the field first through the use of herbicides such as paraquat and glyphosate at the required rate. Commonly used equipment to apply these herbicides is the knapsack sprayer. The person's brain should wear protective clothing. This includes a gas mask, overalls, Wellington boots and gloves. Make sure you get proper training before you attempt to spray your field. Now that we're done with preparing our land, it's time to plant. The best time to plant is between the end of May and mid-July. It's good to test how good your seeds are before you plant them. We do this by counting out 100 seeds and planting them to a depth of 3 centimeters in the soil. You should count the number of seedlings that emerge after eight days. If more than 85 seeds germinated, then plant two seeds per hole. If between 70 to 84 seeds germinated, then plant three seeds per hole. If between 50 and 70 seeds germinate, get better seeds. You can get good May seeds from agro input shops and approved seed vendors. Avoid buying maize seeds from the local or open market. Avoid seeds that are broken or discoloured. You can get all the varieties you want from recognised agro input shops. Buying grain from the market for planting gives different varieties and poor germination. You'll then have different maize plant varieties on your farm. The different varieties may not need fertiliser at the same time and will not be ready for harvest at the same time. In the end, your maize farm will look uneven in growth, which may reduce the yield and quality of the harvest. Buy and plant only one maize variety on the farm. For a good harvest, use a spacing of 20 centimeters within the row and 75 or 80 centimeters between the rows when planting one seed per hole. When planting two seeds per hole, Use 40 cm within the row and 80 cm between rows. Maize plants do not do well when overcrowded. Disease will also spread easily among crowded maize. If we choose to plant with a tractor, the operator should observe the trail of the marker to guide him for the next starting row. It's a good practice to start planting early morning so that you can finish within the day. Differences in planting days on the same field may lead to different times of maturity and reduce yield. The farm is like a truck. If it carries the right amount of items, you'll make money. If it carries too much, the items will press and break each other. And if it carries less, you'll lose money. Plant in straight lines, making sure you maintain the correct spacing. Insist on this when you hire farm labour. This way, you'll have more plants without overcrowding. Straight line planting can be attained by using a line or rope. To use the line, you need first to choose your baseline from one end of the field. You then mark the spacing chosen for your rows along the baseline. The distance between rows can be got from the length of the new cutlass. The space between the maize plants in a row when planting one seed per hole is equivalent to the length of the foot of a grown man. Even better, you can carefully mark the 20 cm or 40 cm intervals on your line with paint as a guide. Usually, five bowls of maize will do for an acre of land. Here are some recommended spacings for selected varieties of maize. Obatampa and Mamaba, 80 cm between rows and 40 cm within rows when planting two seeds per hole. Dorka and Dodsi, 75 cm between rows and 40 cm within rows when planting two seeds per hole. When planting, ensure that the hole is 3 cm deep. Cover it back and step firmly. It's after all these steps are followed that you can expect a good germination. 
but always remember, prepare your land early with the first rains. Plow across the slope. Buy good seeds from an approved agro input shop. Harrow and plant immediately. Plant in straight lines. Plant at 20 or 40 centimeters within the row and 75 or 80 centimeters between the rows.